People who live in parts of downtown Little Rock concerned with the number of fires consuming abandoned buildings. Many saying it's a public safety concern. Fox 16's Caitlin Reardon live in downtown with more on what people are saying and what's being done. Caitlin. Well, Kevin, the house behind me, it's a little tough to see right now, but it's been vacant for years, according to neighbors. And just last week, it burned and now is heavily damaged by smoke and fire. And people around here say that this is far from the only one. To me, this is a, a, a critical public safety issue. I mean, it's very concerning. Joe Joyner lives across the street from a vacant house that burned late last week after someone started a fire in the crawl space underneath it to keep warm. I came out and that's when we noticed the smoke and we saw the police um, arresting someone who I think was the man who started the fire. According to people who live here, this type of thing is a big problem. One woman says her parents bought a vacant house at an auction and it caught fire last month. I came home one night and saw flickering flames and uh, called the fire department uh, only to discover when they broke the door down, there was a person inside who had started a, a little campfire in the middle of the living room. Neighbors say the problem is a lot of these properties sit with no one living in them. When they're not properly secured, people can get into them and that's when they become a public safety hazard. They feel that the owners need to take more responsibility. I believe they should be required to have a temporary electrical service and a monitored security that includes a smoke alarm. Joiner says it's really a sad situation. It's a house that many people in the neighborhood had been looking at for many, many years as something that they'd like to rehabilitate. And um, at this point, it's pretty unlikely that that's going to be doable. And I talked to the fire marshal today who does confirm that this is an issue. And he says that the city is looking into solutions. Reporting live in downtown Little Rock tonight, I'm Caitlin Reardon, Fox 16 News.